Hey guys and welcome to another episode of Digital Classroom. Today it's about backup strategy in the field and how you can prevent data loss. Now, you may or may not know this, but Enoweek and I actually ran a computer company for over 25 years. And one of the biggest issues with customers was always data loss. Now, I know there are software packages out there that can get your data back, but most of the time it will take a lot of work and you often don't get the original names back. Now, of course, you can hire an external company, but that's a lot of money, so it's better to prevent it. So, in our studio, we actually do use NAS systems from Synology. They're awesome because they're accessible from every location in our studio and even from outside our studio. Although, make sure that you have your security up to date, of course, because, well, the portfolio is for all people. What's on my NAS, uh, I like to keep that a little bit more personal, of course. So, on our studio location, we use a NAS system and, of course, a direct attached storage system because it's important that you always back up on at least two locations. And, of course, all the important images are also backed up in the cloud. So how do you do it on location? Well, the biggest problem is not actually that external hard drive because, well, there are a lot of brands out there that sell external hard drives and nowadays they're not that expensive anymore. Because let's be honest, on location for backups you don't really need an SSD drive. A 2 or 4 terabyte normal drive is more than enough, as long as it's safe and it's from a reliable source. So don't buy anything from Wish. You might wish it's good, but for those prices, and just look on the internet, most of the times those hard drives are not reliable enough for us or not reliable for anything actually. So make sure that you buy something from a respected brand. Now, one of the things that I actually already pointed out is that backup strategy. So what's the whole problem? Well, you're tired at night, you connect your hard drive, you have to start up your backup software and then it starts backupping, right? Well, most of the time, and I'm also guilty about that, you're tired at night and you think, you know what, let's do the backup tomorrow. Or maybe your backup software doesn't do an incremental backup, so you have to find out what's new. Well, you don't want that too, right? Or drag and drop everything. You need a solution that's really fast and really simple, but most of all, that will prevent you from, I will do it tomorrow, attitudes. And that's actually why we started using the Transcend hard drives. Now, this is a four terabyte hard drive. And of course, it's an USB-C drive and it retails in the Netherlands for about 139 euros for the 4 terabyte version. So you might wonder like, hey Frank, there are many hard drives out there. Why the Transcend? Well, it's all about this little button over here. And that is actually why I make this video. One of the biggest issues, as I pointed out before, is starting that backup session. And after that, well, the hard drive will do all the work, right? Well, Transcend makes it really easy. You just connect the hard drive to your laptop and the only thing you do as soon as the hard drive is recognized is just press this little button and enjoy your free time. Because then the software will automatically make an incremental backup of your data. So what does incremental backup mean? It actually means that it will check all the versions on the hard drive and on your external hard drive for dates and changed values. So that means if you edit a photo and you give it exactly the same name, it will actually update it on the external drive because the data is different, right? And that's one of the biggest things about making a proper backup system. Make sure you use incremental backups. When you buy the Transcend hard drive, you get the software for free. You just install it on your Mac or your PC and the only thing again what you have to do is press the button and everything after that goes automatically. Now when you're at home, you connect it to your studio PC or your home PC and you can copy everything that you took on location. And the nice thing, of course, because it's a USB-C drive, you can also connect it to your Android devices and even to your iPad. So every device you have, you can make backups on your external hard drive. The button, however, only works on their Mac and PC. So the next time you go out and buy a hard drive, always keep in mind to make that backup workflow as easy as possible. And for me personally, I would highly recommend getting something like the Transcend just for that little button. It's something so simple, but it just makes it a lot more safe and easier to operate. Now for the Dutch customers, we work together with Camera Express. So if you are interested in the Transcend hard drives, make sure to check out Camera Express. I will leave the link below. And they retail in the Netherlands for about 139 euros. Oh, and I almost forgot, if something like that happens, 
that's no problem. You can drop it from two meters down because it's a very rocket design. I'm not going to try that, but they promised me that it won't hurt the hard drive. And that's of course on location, also very important. I don't know why I didn't mention that before. It's maybe one of the most important things, that you make sure that you can drop your hard drive and nothing will happen to your data. So make sure that you don't experience data loss by using a proper backup strategy and a little button on the Transcend drive. See you again next time, guys. Bye-bye.